So I've got some advice for if and when Brandon Ayuk re-signs with the 49ers. By the way, golden hour, I think that's fitting for 49ers talk, here from Ina Kulbrith Park at the top of Russian Hill. Just got some Turkish coffee ice cream from Swenson's. But if and when Brandon Ayuk does re-sign, do not overreact to the initial numbers. That is the most common mistake that people make when they're trying to evaluate contracts. Most often, we're gonna have agents releasing the first information. So they're gonna to wanna to make sure that the contract sounds as big as possible. So they'll put out a high average per year and they'll put out high total guarantees. But it's more about the full guarantees and the cash flow in the first three years of this contract. This is really important this time because the 49ers are in a position where they have to get this one right, a win-win that fits within their cap situation and keeps them financially sustainable. They lost to the Nick Bosa negotiation last year. They've got the Brock Purdy negotiation next year. If you don't want to hit cap hell, if you don't want to have to blow up the roster or have to cut guys that you don't want to cut to fit Brock Purdy next season, this Brandon Ayuk deal has to be structured in a way that fits into the larger piece of what the 49ers are doing. I call it financial Tetris. So my advice is, if and when this happens, be sure that you wait a little bit before you overreact. Be sure that you wait until, the, you know, I'll report it when the money comes out a little bit later. Fully guaranteed money structure. I, mark my words, my projection is that Brandon Ayuk's cap hit 14.1 million this year. I think the 49ers can actually lower it to about 8 million this year based on the contract structure they've been using. And what they're gonna do is you take the a signing bonus, fully guaranteed money, and that money against the cap can actually be prorated, stretched out over five years. And then you could take guaranteed option bonuses that kick in the year later, and those can stretch out for up to five years. You can add void years to the deal to make that happen. It's all complicated finances. That, by the way, behind me, illuminated in sunlight. It's the financial district. You could see the Transamerica Pyramid. I think they're coming up with a rooftop bar uh, back on top of the Transamerica Pyramid right now. New owner for the building. Maybe we'll have to do a lunch with Lombardi from there, 49ers report from there. But anyway, they crunch all those numbers back there, and the 49ers are going to try to make it work, and I think they actually can make it work in good fashion with Brandon Ayuk. So do not overreact to those initial numbers. That is my biggest advice right now as we're waiting for a deal to happen between San Francisco and Brandon Ayuk.